Did you know one in three popular songs contains explicit references to drug, alcohol use, and abusive languages? That means kids are receiving about 35 references to substance abuse for every hour of music they listen to, while songs about drugs and excess are nothing new. The issue is getting more attention because so many children now have regular access to music. Nearly 9 out of 10 adults and teens have an MP3 player or a compact display in their bedrooms. Let's hit up some questions to people what are the stereotypes of hip hop and rap. About girls, clothes, strippers, getting money, getting highs. And talk about drugs too much. Sex, um, party. And, you know, like girls. Bad things, like, um, and have sex with a like, hundred people. Alright, hip hop and rap. Everyone thinks every rapper is black. Right? Everyone thinks that to be a rapper, you gotta wear your clothes, gotta be baggy and shit. Always gotta wear a chain, earrings, and always gotta have a fake cut. That's the stereotype of a rapper. Um, they always think rapping is aggressive. For example, it's only about violence, aggressive, but it's so like multi, multicultural. Like rap can be about anything you want. Uh, I don't know. I see hip hop and rap as two different things. Rap is slinging a bunch of words together, and hip hop is a culture. And part of that culture is um, graffiti, b boying, uh, DJing, and then the actual use of words. Yeah, I think stereotypes play a big part in music these days. I mean. You know, you've got the, with, with the whole Tiger thing that's come out recently, you know, him being in porno movies and all that sort of stuff. It's just, you know, occasionally these things do come out to be true, but on a whole, they just play up to what we want to hear. You know what I mean? It's, it's not necessarily the truth, and you've really got to take everything into consideration when you're, when, when these guys are saying they're, you know, with all these women and all this stuff, it's not always true. In the past decade, People, especially young teenagers, has been affected from what they hear in the genre of hip-hop and rap. They often found their way copying images of dealing in drugs, crimes, abusive languages, pursuing into sex and their own behavior, and pacing it in their life. What are the effects of teenagers if they listen to hip-hop and rap? If there's good, there's bad. I'd say who you listen to will determine that. Say you listen to someone that uh, raps about weed, or, you know, alcohol or something like that, then that will turn into the influence of doing that. But if you listen to someone who's rapping about motivation, where they came from, then that's like a motivation for yourself to, be better, to, better, to better yourself. Unfortunately, hip-hop and rap artists is now using their music to portray negative lyrical content to young teenagers. Do you think Hip-hop and rap music and the artists influence young teenagers. Hip-hop does not influence kids to do the wrong things. I reckon it's the kids' decision. Like, if you're like listening to Cursor or something and he's saying all the wrong things to do, we're not necessarily just going to go follow after him because we think it's cool. It's up to us to do what we want to do. Okay, I don't think that it has any influence. Well, I think it's fine if people want to do what they do, but if they're forced into it, I don't think it's good. So it's up to the individual. I think it does influence them because, yeah, drugs and swearing and they think they have to be expected to be like them when they're like 10. Probably overall, probably bad stuff. Um, probably crime, uh, drugs, they make that seem cool and okay. Music's just music, man. Is hip-hop really to blame with these wrong acts? They've been through that bad stuff, but it doesn't mean that people who listen to them has to has to do it, you know what I mean? If I'm listening to a hip hop song and it says like fuck the police, YOLO and shit like that, then I'm not necessarily going to go after those kind of words and think, oh yeah, I'll just listen to this hip hop song, it's my opinion of it, and if I want to do that, I can, but it's not exactly the hip hop song that is making me do it. Mindset, you know, people who are going to go off and if someone says shoot someone and they go shoot someone, it's, it's something wrong with their head, it's not the music, you know what I mean? It's, Something wrong with the person. Ah, it's not the music, so. Yeah. You listen to that sort of music because you have those sort of tendencies. You don't have those sort of tendencies because you've listened to the music. It depends on the individual. Yeah, so the individual, not the rapper. It doesn't have anything to do with the song at all. It's not the music, it's society's attitudes. The breakdown of discipline. 
Yeah, I, I believe it is. I, I don't believe it's the music. I believe it, it's the individual's act. It's always the individual's act. They've made the choice to go and do what they want to do. And there's a big separation there between people who think and people who do it. You know what I mean? And just because someone says it in a rap doesn't make it true. Overall, artists are free to do whatever they want and sing about, whether their songs and action influences young teenagers. In the end, it all comes to individuals, him or her, to decide the final decision.